Hello YouTubers, sorry about the noise of the fan but it's absolutely boiling in here. So uh, what this is, is basically a collection of uh, unboxings of loads of different uh, Doctor Who pieces of merchandise. Uh, you know, um, I, basically ones that I order and get in the post and not necessarily, I some of them I don't necessarily review in fact actually, I think only maybe one, possibly two of these that I've actually reviewed out of them so and uh, this goes all the way back, I think it's June or July. So, yeah, let's just have a look. I didn't film every piece of Doctor Who merchandise I got in the post and box and that. Uh, simply because sometimes I forgot or if it wasn't particularly that interesting. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and sit back because it's going to be a long one. All of this was just £10. All of that in there. Ten quid. Let's take a look at what I got, eh? Oh god, I am absolutely knackered after walking here to get this. So let's take a look at what's in here. So we've got the Matt Smith TARDIS console. If I just snap the pieces back on. And it's actually disassembled there, which is interesting. So, let's just take a look at it. So, yeah, um, it was, it's just the console piece, nothing else, just that. But, yeah, it's actually not bad, you know, you have the centre of this. Here's something I've actually reviewed many years ago the Cyber Controller's chair. And uh, the Cyber Controller. Now, this was a BM exclusive set, so yeah. Now, um, if you're wondering where I got this from, I, uh, I got this from a seller who sold it to me for £10. I had to collect it in person. But yeah, that's pretty good. Good. Um, the Cyber Controller on his own isn't particularly that rare but his chair is fairly rare and now I've uh, got two of them which is all nice well and good uh, where am I going to put the rest of these I'll figure it out later I haven't actually uh, looked through all of this yet so I can tell this has been against a window because they've slightly yellowed on that side but we've got the 10th Doctor's flight control tennis is a... Holy shit! Sorry for swearing uh, everyone if you'll get offended by that. But this has uh, power, this has batteries in. Let's actually uh, take the batteries out of this come really inch. You know? Someone has had batteries in this for god knows how long. Yeah. Duracells are the way to go because they do not corrode uh, generally generally um, I don't think I've had a Duracell battery ever corrode on me which is not so you know that I've had an energizer battery corrode before but Duracell nah but uh, not in too bad Nick uh, it's in pretty good condition that are I've noticed a couple of chips out of the base and the back is a bit scratched up Presumably, this has been against a windowsill or something pointing outwards. You can see it's uh, pretty good. Good, I mean, you've got the wood graining and a um, little pull tab here. This is nice, and this is, you know, harking back to when Doc Zoo toys were, you know, all the rage and really, really good. Continuing with the Cadices. We've got the Christmas Invasion TARDIS. So, well, hey, uh, this is basically a, da a darker version of the Capaldi TARDIS. And actually, in some scenes, it does actually look this colour. However, obviously, unlike the Capaldi one, this thing opens like that. And we've got the Matt Smith in drop. So, this is the non electronic one. Still got speaker grills and everything on here. So, uh, uh, 
I'm going to show you something which I haven't uh, got before. Oh, he does go work. And he's a bit battered, a little bit. It's the face of Bo. I've never owned a face of Bo. Uh, I remember, I do remember seeing him uh, in the shops where he was a lot more expensive than the others. I think it was like 20, maybe even close to 30 pound. But it just looks so good. In the detail on this, especially the eyes, and the detail of the circuitry isn't too bad either. But he does have a little um, switch thing at the back, which when you look at that, I am Doctor. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, is he missing a wheel there, or is he supposed to have a ball bearing or something here? But he's got two wheels at the front. I don't know. I don't know. I've never owned one before, but it's, yeah, it's really nice. It's bigger. It's bigger than it looks, uh, to be honest. You know, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, it's not that big. Actually, yeah, it is. It's a good looks figure from back in the day. Lo and behold, um, another Satan Pit lift. So this is another one I've got. This one doesn't have any broken sections along there, which is nice. Though it does have a bit of a scratched up uh, door inside, so not quite as clean as the one I already had. But pretty good. Uh, does, does that handle snapped off? Yeah. But not bad. Um, nice. It is nice to have another one of these, so because uh, yeah, you can put them all on the line go do -do 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 -do, going down. Oh, just figuring out places to put these so I can take them all out. <sighs> now this is another figure I never owned until now, which is the blue uh, Clockwork Man. Uh, is this the uh, rarer one? I think it is. This may be the... I don't know. Is it, is it this one? The bl there was this one, the black one, the purple one, but so nice, and the fact that we can pull the head off. Look at that. The clockwork. Oh, was the clockwork in her inner workings? Uh, sorry, this. Tr I'm just trying to set up the tripod. Yeah, but yeah, the nice little clockwork inner workings inside there, which is really nicely detailed and a really nice feature. And that just pops on the top like that. Uh, he doesn't seem to have a weapon. I don't know. Did this one have a weapon? Uh, I think I see where it was. Probably was here. But overall, really nice. I do like it. Yeah, and I did what I did. Wonk one. Um, but funny now, there are some damaged figures, and one of them is quite amusing. It's an armless Rose Tyler. Yes, and interestingly, this has got a black piece of plastic, and the other piece is white. But my, this was the first Rose figure ever released. But my God, that face! I mean, it does look like Billy Piper, but just the expression on her face and like, what the hell? It just looks really weird now and then. I believe this one may be re-released in B&M's uh, in a month or two. I've or, uh, I've never had that version of Rose. Here we have an unearthly child. Child. I've already got one of him, except uh, my one did have the bottom half of his legs. So uh, he he's gonna go. Oh, you my mummy, and you my mummy. Yeah, I fell. Oh no. Really nice detail for such a small figure. So it's nice to have another one of him, even if he is slightly damaged. Oh god, here we are. I've got so many of him, I'm a bit sick of it. The Tenth Doctor in the brown overcoat. Now this one is not in great condition, his face. You know, his face looks a bit bashed off. Uh, to be honest, this is clearly an older figure. You know, his coat is actually a pretty tough on this one 
So it's clearly one, probably one of the earlier ones, because the later ones were made of like a softer PVC than this. And it's a nice enough figure, but I'm just a bit sick of uh, having the Tenth Doctor for the billionth time. Yeah, because we've had just so goddamn many of them. I just noticed this just now. Uh, is his leg? No, it's just okay. This tank tuck does not getting very far. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, to be honest, the head, you know, it looks better on this one, in better condition uh, than on the other one. But he's, obviously, he's missing a leg. If we can focus. If we can, there we go. On these early figures, I notice that this, his skin tone seems to be a bit darker than um, later ones. I don't know if that's just due to the paint that we used at the time. Now, here's a Tenth Doctor that I don't have. And unfortunately, he's also broken. However, I do have the other variant. This is a Tenth Doctor in Pentelian spacesuit. Or is it Satan Pit's spacesuit? He's missing his arms. Uh, but I I do have um, the Bengtalian spacesuit version, which is the one of him in the red one from Series 3. So this is the one from Series 2. Yeah, and also the head sculpt. That was later uh, fixed. So yeah, it's a bit weird, that head. Now here is something interesting that I would have never bought, though clearly uh, someone did buy it, and it's uh, the creature from Hyde, three and two quartering set, and this is the most recent figure uh, in this lot. It's just like blah 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 blah. Yeah, it's, it's a bit interesting here. He's very rubbery. Uh, the reason I never bought this, obviously, is because it uh, was released for one of them awful, awful cardboard time zone playset things. But he's all rubbery. Look, to be honest, the detail on him is really good. This is probably one of the best uh, three and three quarter inch scale figures, just because of the detail on it. I think sacrificing the articulation and making him out of rubber, you know, ha has paid off in this case. But never mind that, let's ask K9, a rusky K9, what he thinks. He's got no ears. He's a radio controlled one, but he doesn't have a remote. Oh dear. I have another one of these, so it doesn't, it doesn't overly bother me, but it's nice to have a one, see if I ever need parts for one. Because some of these are nice to have, you know, spare parts. Actually, I just spotted another K9 in here. And it is a regular K9. With the pop-off panel. And actually, uh, apart from a couple of scratches here and there, he seems in pretty damn good condition as well. Uh, you can actually see, if we zoom in, the other one, that one came with the uh, fourth Doctor from season 18. But he, he's pretty good. He's pretty good in his own. Fair right. Um, what's this thing on the bottom? The bottom looks different. I think, wasn't he? Yeah, he's meant to be friction driven. Okay, the friction drive actually still works on this K9. Because like, it's a little loose it probably break in a year or two. Uh, we were talking about roses before. Here's another one. So that probably came with that K9. So here we have series 2 rose which is a better figure. And I think it actually looks slightly less like her to be honest. It doesn't look an awful lot like Billy Pipeman. For some reason no articulation in the arms. You do get articulation in the legs however. But not in the arms, I don't know why. Bit weird. Then again, this was early days for character, but this was 
you know, released alongside a tank sculptor that did have articulation in the arms. Uh, I'm really glad to get one of these. If you've seen my items of Doctor Who items in storage, you remember I had one of these, but they were uh, broken. It was broken, and uh, I actually uh, went. I'm a bit annoyed now because I went and actually bought another one of these on eBay. That was also slightly damaged, but I glued the hand back on. And now I've just got another one here. Jim Piffing XO. Oh well. Expect to have one too many because actually he's a fairly um, rare figure now. Let's take a look at all the side men I've got here because there are a fair few. Pop his foot back on. There we go. So uh, this one is almost brand new looking. Uh, so this is the Cyberman with arm gun. And clearly this one has, you know, hardly ever been played with. Or it might just be the fact that these may have been painted in a slightly different colour. Or different paint because uh, every Cyberman with arm gun I've had, which is in the silver, always seems to be in this very vibrant silver and always in really good condition. So I don't know if that's because they've used good from paint, because this was a later release, or whatever, because um, a lot of the Cybermen I have from those early releases, have, the paint has rubbed off. For example, on this one, it's exactly the same, but without the arm gun. Yeah, I have quite a few of these. He has a slight scratch, uh, sort of on his lips, kind of thing. Well, not lips, but lip placement. Bit weird. Have we got any other Cybermen? I don't know. Uh, no, we don't. We, oh wait, yes we do. Yes we do. We have one more. Without the arm gun. We also have this weird little thing. This is a tiny, tiny little canine. With massive ears. I've no idea what this came from. If someone knows, I vaguely remember seeing it though, but I can't remember for the life of me what from what. If someone knows where this canine came from, you know, please tell me in the comments below, because I haven't the foggiest. <clears throat> I'm probably going to remember after this video, to be honest. Uh, I've got so another Slitheen to add to my collection of two now. Uh, I really do like the Slitheen. I would really like to get the child Slitheen from the Sarah Jane Adventures. That would be nice, but this one looks really, you know, the Slovene figure, I, you know, it's never been uh, released for a long, long time. It actually did get quite a few releases back in the day. It was released singularly. Uh, it was released actually with Space Pig, so I've got another Space Pig here. Um, this one came with this bundle of figures, however, he came without a foot. For some reason, this one. Uh, it was released with Slitheen skin suit. Uh, it was also released in one of those garlic battle packs. Uh, I think that's about it. I, I love this little bulging section here. No! <laughs> I apologise for my uh, lack of being any sort of uh, professional today. Uh, it's simply because I've had to walk for about an hour to go collect these. Um, so you know, g give me a break. Just grab into the magic bag again, eh? And we have an Ood! Yes, we have a reg... I've never had a regular Ood either. I've The only Ood I've got uh, that's close to this is the nephew figure. This one doesn't come with his orb, but those eyes are so, so teeny, teeny, tiny. Really teeny, tiny eyes. Which is weird, because it should be, you know, they should be bigger, and it's... It is pretty pale, I like the earlier ones, but... Overall, it's a really nice figure. Of an Ood. It's a shame he didn't come with his, um... Ood translator thingy. But, oh well. Ah. Here we have an 11th Doctor figure from the um, Christmas Adventure sex with the TARDIS. Uh, Christmas Carol set, whatever you want to call it. Mm, yeah, 
it's all right. It's it's probably uh, probably my second least favorite figure. Probably no third. It's all right. It's all right. It's not bad, but those lines should not be that prominent on this. Yeah, you know, they should be a lot duller, or they shouldn't have bothered doing it at all because it looks nothing like that in the actual episode. And speaking of the other figure, here is Amy in police uniform. I've got two or three of these now. So, where well, hey, we've. Yes. Two variants of Amy. So you see, I, I don't know why uh, if, if they've only ever done those two. Uh, because there was an easy variant they could have done. If you'd done the Victory of the Daleks, Amy, but painted. Uh, her top green, then you would have had a one from the lodger, I believe. Whoa, 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 what the hell has happened to his neck? Okay, here we have Dalek Sec Hybrid, and what the hell is this? Is his head coming off? Is his head coming off or something? Or is it meant. It's not meant. Oh god, look at that. Emergency! Emergency! Look at that. This egg seems to be slightly coming off. But if I just pop it back on, it seems alright. Nice to have another one. Uh, um, I've got three now. One of them boxed and another loose. So I hate... Ah! There's another clockwork droid. Excellent! Uh, so I've, I haven't got this one either. This is the black one. I really like this one. The, the gold is really vibrant on this, it kind of scans out. I just love also the bits of red on the side and... Uh, again, the head comes off. To reveal the inner clockwork with inside. So nice. Yeah, it's details like that, I mean, removable heads and that. Or masks or whatever you want to call it. You, you just don't really get this stuff nowadays. And we've got one more length doctor, the generic series 5 eleventh doctor, which I've looked at countless, countless times. Oh, I didn't know this was in here. Oh no, it's an armless Mickey. He's being disarmed. Rose, help me. <laughs> yeah, what the hell has happened to his head? His head looks really weird. It looks like it's being smoked. It looks like he's starting to go. Whoa, that is interesting. All right, so the, here's half of the Genesis arc with a, with uh, the Mox of Balhoom in it, and this one is um, a different uh, color to the one I've got. The one I've got is doesn't have uh, this sort of purplish color to it. The one I've got is just like a very light blue. But yeah, a nice. It is a nice figure. Um, they, you know, it's a, it was a really random figure to release at the time, to be honest, because uh, he appears on screen for literally less than thirty seconds, and they've made and they made a figure. You know, it's just like you miss those days when a character could be on screen for literally less than thirty seconds, and there you go, there's a figure of it. Well, <laughs> there you go. Continuing with series one, here we have uh, the Gelf zombie. Never had this figure. I remember, I think I saw it in Poundland once years ago, back in 2007 or 8. Look at those eyes. I got it. It's an accurate representation. You know, very Dickensian looking. But really good. For uh, probably Mark Gatiss's second best episode, uh, to be honest. It was, I did think for a while that it was his best until Empress of Mars came along. Oh no, people, there is a slight problem here. Seems like the figures are just going to go bloom everywhere. Um, this is not a figure, this came with it as well, Doctor Who, the complete third series, so... 
this is the only thing that I might sell from it because uh, I've already got Series 3 and my brother's got Series 3 as well so we've got two lots of Series 3 what else have we got okay so we've got two Autons with broken off hands now I've got this Auton but not this one so they're identical to each other apart from this has a polka dot shirt that goes out um, if we take a look at the weapon it used to have a twisty on hand but this has been long since broken off interestingly back in the day these came in a two pack so you got two figures for the price of one uh, yeah and you don't get that either these days you know this is literally two figures the same figure practically but two for one oh I found the tenth doctor's leg quickly where is that tenth doctor I must give him back his leg there he is excuse me thank you let's see if we can give him some surgery I think this could be broken Okay, it's on there, but very loosely on there. Yeah, I might... I don't know what I can particularly do. Here's a Weeping Angel. It's projected Weeping Angel. It's the screaming one with one wing and uh, a missing arm. Eh, I've, I've got one of these boxed, so... Yeah, it's, not, it's not quite enough. Um, and we've got, to finish off, some garlic. None of them in perfect condition, all of them missing bits or damaged in some way. So we've got an infrared uh, battle drone Dalek. My brother had one of these. Um, I did a review on it. But he did lose it, so I might give him or sell him this. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, depends if I can find an eye stalk and a gun for him. Uh, We've got a general Dalek out from the Cult of Scaro. These were the days before they painted the eyes where some were painted and some weren't. But good enough. Uh, another Cult of Scaro Dalek. Nothing but a plunger. Let's put him over there. Another Cult Scarrow Dalek. Here we go. Okay, here's a more interesting one. And if I can repair this, get that bit of plastic out of the eye, that would be great because this is a Mutant Reveal Dalek. Lovely. This is something I really want. I've got, I think I've got a spare eye stalk somewhere, or I can get one. So, yay, Mutant Reveal Dalek. I love Mutant Reveal Daleks. They're probably one of my favourite Dalek figures. And, uh This one was an Assault Dalek. I can tell by the tag there and the fact that this won't come off. So, that one was an Assault Dalek. And, uh Here's a damaged Dalek Thay. Yeah, nice guys. Unfortunately, he has a damaged dome light as well. Not bad though. Uh, and finally, bottom of the bag. My God, are we finally here? Yes, we are. He said, "Damaged Daleks." Egg figure um, radio controlled thing. Now this is actually going to be useful f for me. Because I do have a radio controlled Dalek with a missing dome light on a video that I may or may not have filmed or made. But I can use the dome light off this to repair it. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, take five everyone. So, yeah, that was it for this extremely long video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yada yada, what people say in these kind of videos. Um, sorry for the uh, unprofessionalness for, for this. It, you know, I, it's basically just looking through these, so I haven't really had time to prepare for it. Unlike other videos, um, it's literally um, just looking through a bag of stuff that I've literally just bought off a person. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, that's enough, that's enough. So, uh, more videos to come. Um, I've got loads of other videos that have been... I've got other videos that have been recorded and that are now ready for upload and that, so... Thank you, and goodbye. Alright, so I've got this package. Uh, it could be one of many things. Let's take a look. Huh? Right. Okay, I got part of it out. Ah, I know what this is. I know what this is. My God. Supposed to come with a sonic screwdriver. Where is it? Put that in his hand and Have a look. Ooh, okay. That's cyber gun. Very nice. Nice actual fabric and that, so really nice paint job. Also, a bit of weight to it as well. Here it is. Stuck. There it is. Look how nice that is. It's very, very shiny. Well, very nice. So, I'll be doing reviews on these and bye bye for now. Hello, YouTubers. Christmas has come early for me. I've received um, a couple of boxes in the post. So uh, let's get them open. Let's get my knife out. Um, okay. Ah, ah, I know what this is. This is a really weird packing material. I, s I swear my duvet is filled with this stuff. So, it's the Sarah Jane Adventures Sarah Jane and Slitheen Child set. Uh, I picked this up off eBay, I think it cost us about five, six pound, including postage. So, uh, that was a really good price for it. Yeah, and, yeah, re really, really nice. Uh, I'll be. Oh, look, the picture of Luke on the back. Um, but I will be keeping this in its uh, box. I keep all the. Sega Adventures figures in the box, and you can even see the SJA logo. Quite a large box for just you know two figures, and they were all um, in this size box as well. Uh, I have the um, Kublak figure as well. So let's have a look at what's in the big box. 
box. I think I know what this is. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. I was expecting something else in the post today, but uh, apparently uh, that hasn't come yet. Yeah. This is a bit of a surprise. I mean, I knew it was coming, but, um, yeah. Can you guess what it is yet? Wow, it's a bit dirty. I swear there's some seeds or something on the gun. But there we are, we've got the Product Enterprise radio controlled um, Genesis Dalek. Just grab my knife. Uh, yeah, I've already got one of these actually. I, I, I've got one of these brand new actually, well not brand new, it was brand new for at the time. But I got one of these when they came, when they were actually in the shops. I got it from Pavilion Plant, but I found this one on, uh, I wasn't planning on getting another one. I, I just saw this one on eBay for £10 plus £5 postage. And uh, I thought, why Why not? Why not? So, good, there's a the remote. I do plan on doing a video on the radio control product enterprise garlics and every time I think about doing it and uh, I manage to acquire another one and also that will be a very big and long video or several videos to do so I'm going uh, it will cut that review will come one day uh, I just don't know when but yeah it's came in the post today this is the world's biggest, 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 heaviest box. Another parcel came. Hooray! Same day. Came in the afternoon. Oh god! How the hell am I gonna? What way am I gonna open this? Uh... Okay. Um. Where did I put my knife? I left it on here, didn't I? Hang on. Okay. I see, see. Uh, sorry if the view is a bit obstructed, but this box is absolutely huge. And I'm opening it upside down. Okay, put it this way around. Alright, so this is why I thought that uh, the Genesis garlic would be. I, seriously, this is huge. And I'm going to show you all the stuff that comes in, in this. You know what, I'm going to have to adjust the tripod for this one. Alright, so I've adjusted the, the tripod for this one. Uh, holy shit. My god. Okay, so we got I got two battles in time magazine issue. Uh, another one there. Gee, let's just let's see a look. Ah. I think these are these yeah, these are slightly stuck together. I'll separate them later, but god. Stuff from yesteryear. Uh, same issue again. What's this? Oh! Poster. And the same one again, so it's of the uh, Series 6 um, poster. Looks 
Oh my god. Look at it. Oh, it's been there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, these are the main reason I got it. I got it for all these uh, Daleks here. These Product Enterprise Daleks. And it came with a lot of that. I'm going to have to stand up. Oh, I'm nearly falling over. I'm going to have to stand up. I can't sit in my chair because I can't see what I'm doing otherwise. Okay, there we go. I'm standing up. Let's take a look at the figures first. We've got a werewolf figure. Slitheen and Space Pig. Uh, all the figures are sealed up by the way. Um, twin pack of Autons. Another werewolf figure. And acrylatine. Oh my god, so we've got how many Daleks? Let's move them out of the way. Oh, I don't know what these were. And one has just fallen out. We'll have a proper look at them in a minute. Okay, so, oh god, how many Daleks are here? One, two, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we've got eleven Daleks. These are Product Enterprise ones. Um, so here we've got a silver micro talking Dalek. Uh, lovely jubbly. I won't actually take these out. Actually, oh, will I? I'll put them. I'll have to put them on my bed. I've got a death to the Daleks version. Okay, another uh, 60s silver. Genesis one. Another 60 silver one. Yep. His batteries are going. These are all sealed, by the way. Uh, all the Daleks, brand new. Uh, there's that Supreme Dalek. You can see, this was from a place called Popcorn. Never heard of them. I, I remember I got mine. I got one from Forbidden Planet for a tenner and a one from Model Zone from a tenner. Uh, another Genesis one. Oh! Little pencil case set thing. Now these may be open boxes. Um, well, they are sealed up, but uh, in terms of not having a window or any plastic in that, but actually it gives pretty good protection. All right, let's see what else. Limited edition Simon Kong side. So this is uh, got to Alien Enemies. Uh, I remember I had some Alien Enemies trading cards. Okay, so let's see what's in here. What these are. I think uh, this is Thunderbirds, I think. I don't know, this is just something else that okay. came. But very, very nice. And I got... Yeah, the other one is exactly the same. I'll just put them to the side. They're both exactly the same as each other. Two 
two sealed packets of Doctor Who Battles in Time and one Doctor Who Monster Invasion and uh, I used to actually collect those um, back in the day I think we've got another Battles in Time oh and another Battles in Time cards, uh, how many? how many is that? Oh god. Okay. And nice. Uh, these are Doctor Who playing cards. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jeez. Okay. And they're listed as. There was a price on one of them before. Four ninety nine each from popcorn again. This one's got three ninety nine on. A bit weird. And this one's got four ninety. But uh, how much do you reckon this will cost me? Well, the answer is um, forty six pound, and I think the postage. I think it was either free postage or it was a five. I can't remember. But yeah, I got all of that. And considering, yeah, I bought it, I bought it for these, because considering each one of these on eBay goes for, you know, 15 to £20 each for a brand new one, sometimes for a used one. That's actually a really amazing deal for the amount of stuff I got. Okay, so that was the unboxing for today, my god. Alright, so today we are unboxing... Sandwich or baguette or whatever. No, we're not. Uh, that's for later. Here it is. And I know what this is. Hooray. But you don't. This is my surprise. Hey. But, um. The reason that this one, um, means a lot. To me why I decided to get another one of them uh, is because uh, this was actually the first ever Dot 2 figure that I got. Um, I notice I say figure because uh, technically the first well Dot 2 piece of merchandise that I got was um, a radio controlled Dalek which was uh, the bronze one. Dalek with Mutants Reveal. Oh, hey, brand new in the box. This cost. Uh, how much did this cost me? I think it cost me thirteen pound, including postage. Really good price for one of these brand new. Got another big box here. Um, I'm going to just uh, cut the plastic off behind the camera. Oh no! Come on! Come on! Okay. Let us get to the box! Come on! Oh wow, so this is one of the American UPS boxes. It's, it is huge. But don't you worry, I think I know what's inside this one as well. Uh for this to easily open. I'm just looking and doesn't so I'm just gonna have to oh, cut it. Um sorry that I can't do this one particularly on camera very well. The knife solves all. Okay, so this is what I thought it was. Oh, 
Right. <laughs> Genetic plinked Dalek. Yeah, I never got one of these back in the day. Go, it was just like the most minor variant ever, and I, you know, it's a meh kind of release. I mean, it's basically that without the music reveal. And we've got another one in this big box. <laughs> Another Mutant Reveal Dalek because the seller of that one um, didn't post this for over a week so I had to get in touch with eBay about it. So I bought another one just in case that maybe the gloss get. This one has the blue eye, that one doesn't. Yeah, that was a common thing back in the day. Some of the big, some didn't. So, yay or mine.